Mm. It looked like yeah. it's going to rain. Yeah, it, it looked rain. like it. It looked rainy. Yeah, there may have been like two or three drops. Happy to see the clouds. Yeah. yeah. Didn't know what they were to begin with, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, you man. know, I was I was telling Casey uh, a few hours ago, I was like, yeah, I had to go back to my last semester of weather school to figure out what the clouds were. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just a little they're refresher. Kind of, they're kind of puffy and full yeah. of moisture. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're kind of fluffy. They look nice. Sometimes they make shades. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I, I see a rabbit right now. <laughs> Upper 70s, lower 80s currently. It's 82 in Emory, 84 in Quitman, 2 degrees cooler in Mineola. Look at that. Tyler Pounds Airport. We were in the middle 80s earlier and then we were in the lower 80s and then we're back into the uh, low to middle 80s now it's 83 degrees 82 in the Cherokee County Airport 83 Mount Enterprise 85 in Henderson and folks it's gonna be a comfortable evening despite the rain we've got on the radar right now but again at least it's something at least it's a couple of drops that does mean we're a couple more drops closer to putting a dent in the drought we're 66 degrees tonight decreasing clouds at least for the early part of the night we do hit 91 tomorrow, but those clouds, they are back in the forecast. It's going to be very warm as well. Look at that. 91 degrees, folks. That average high for this time of year is in the lower 80s. Now, satellite and radar, we're really not seeing much. That is a disturbance out to your west, but most of that rain has really moved off to the north and to the east and is moving into parts of the Midwest there. But as we look at Viper radar in our area, you can still see a little bit of activity to our north and to our northeast. And this got interesting there for a little bit along Highway 259, but I would say the heaviest rain right now, if you can even call it that, is over Cattle Lake and exiting to our east into parts of Louisiana. But that's not the only rain chance I have in your forecast over the next 24 or so hours. First and foremost, we've got mostly clear skies in our area. As we head into your Wednesday afternoon, that is when we're going to start to see a front emerge off to our north and to our west. And there's your front right there. That's going to slowly slide to the south and to the southeast. We'll see a few bubble up showers and thunderstorms across parts of our central counties there. And then this is going to roll off to the south. Still a few bubble up showers and storms by 9 o'clock and then the front rolls through. We've got clear skies as we head into your Thursday morning and Thursday will actually be more comfortable than what we see tomorrow with those high temperatures being so warm. You can see the severe weather outlook. This is the first time I've showed this map in a while. It is a level one marginal risk of severe weather across parts of our eastern counties. And this pretty much means that one or two storms may have some gusty winds. That's about it for us. And over your next six to 10 days, will be about average for rainfall, but I think the better chance of rain will be to our west, but that doesn't mean we won't have rain in the forecast. As far as those high temperatures go, we look to be in the 70s, which is pretty common for this time of year, even perhaps a hair below average as we head into next week. Here are the next seven days. There you go. Front arrives Wednesday. Plenty of sunshine Thursday and Friday. We do hit 90 again on Saturday, and then there's that front arriving Sunday into Monday. We'll hit 73 by your Tuesday. Looking at deep east Texas now. That front arrives tomorrow. Again, that chance of showers and thunderstorms probably after 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening. Upper 80s Thursday and Friday with additional rain chances Sunday and Monday. Neil, Casey?